guys, it's me, Line here, and as you probably can tell from the title of this video, this is a special video for Aphmal. And if you don't know who Aphmal is, she is a, an amazing YouTuber, an amazing writer, and she's amazing. She is one of my role models in life, and I don't normally, like, do videos like this. Well, I haven't really done much videos, but I never thought I would be doing a video like this. But I wanted to thank Aphmau, A.K. Jess, because she is such an inspiration to me. Her stories, her videos, they all inspire me. Um, since I was a little kid, I have struggled with so many things. Um... One of them being bullied and stuff because, well, believe it or not, because I like doing art and, yeah. And also that I like anime, gaming and stuff and, you know, that people get bullied for that all the time. But I was just really insecure, mainly because my parents, my mom is amazing and I love her and so is my dad. But... Their parenting could have been used a little bit better, cause my dad. I'm not gonna go into full detail, but he kind of acted like how his parents did, and it was outdated stuff that he would do, and it. Let's just say it had a big effect on me, but and. During that time in my life, I was really depressed, like, really, really depressed. I probably did have a depression. I probably still have a little depression, but thanks to my friends and everyone that helps me, I'm good. And also because of dress. Because I had such a rough childhood, I didn't really know what to do so I would just hide cry and stuff and then um I think it was my seventh birthday no I was older than that it's like in seventh grade so I don't know but in seventh grade um my parents bought me my first mobile device um it was not a phone it was um an iPad iPod iPod iPad it was an iPod. I think it's an iPad. No, it wasn't an iPad. Either way, it was an i a, a f Apple device of some sort, and um, that's not a phone. But um, and I discovered YouTube. <laughs> that that was a great day. I spent way too much time on the internet. And, well, I discovered YouTube. And one of the first videos I clicked was of this... Oh, I don't know what it was. It was like a weird... I know it was like a Minecraft video. But it was really weird. And I was like, okay, this is cool, kind of. But I was a kid, so anything like seemed really cool to me, so... Like, I'd be like, ooh, unicorn, yeah, I'm a unicorn. Fluffy unicorn. <laughs> oh, I'm geek. Oh. Uh, um, but. I. Yeah, I loved. And I clicked on one of Jess's video. It was one of her Minecraft videos of her friends and her doing Minecraft stuff. And I was inspired. I was like, holy crap. Like, I don't know. Like, something just resonated with me. Like, it was so good and she was so friendly and she was like so outgoing. Like, hi guys, it's me, Jess. Oh, I hope I don't get copyrighted for that. I probably won't because I said I'm nothing like her, but she, um, she, she was so positive and I was I didn't really have that much positivity in my life so it's like it was a good place for me to go to like I looked forward to it so much and then 
Um, I got into more, and then she just started doing her, like, My Street stuff. And I started watching that and her diaries. Diaries was one of my favorites. And then... I, from that point forward, I became a more positive person and more outgoing person. And it was all thanks to Jess. So I want to thank Jess for being like that. Because it helped me so much. Like, helped me as a YouTuber. Like, my friends, um, I was, they're like, you should start an art channel. And I'm like, no, you're crazy. And all my friends were like, Mira, finally! Like, literally, finally! And I'm like, yeah. I'm starting to regret my city. <laughs> well, I, that's what I said back then, but now I, I don't. And honestly, I haven't really had time to do anything, so I kind of do feel bad. But, yeah. But, anywho. um, It's all the things to just that I had the courage to do this, and... Honestly, I wasn't really sure about my art, but then, like, she was so positive about her stuff, and I was like, I'm going to do that. I am going to be positive, and my art is beautiful. Necessary, I don't think that all the time, but I still say it's beautiful, but anywho. Thank you so much, Jess, and I want to thank you with this special drawing. don't really know if it's that special, but I, I wanted to do it, because as a thank you, and I hope you like it, um, I hope you actually watch this, I don't know if you will, and also keep in mind, guys, um, mm -hmm. this is my first time trying shading with this program, because I don't really like doing shading with this program, because I never tried it, I don't actually like shading in it with any program, but yeah, but this, this is my first time shading, so it's not that good, but it's pretty good, kind of, I should have I don't know why I used black, probably because I was being an idiot, and like, I should have used purple. What am I doing? You always use purple. You don't ever use black, you idiot. Oh. Boy, unless you're doing charcoal, then you don't really have a choice. But in videos like this, or norm color drawings, you use purple. You use a very dark purple. And different shades of purple, guys. Do not do what I did. It will... It will... I mean, it doesn't look bad. But it could have been better. If you know what I mean. So, yeah. Thank you again, Jess, for inspiring me. Inspiring so many others. I know there's more than, than this me that feel inspired. Because... There's a lot of people that do, and I, oh, also, um, Jess inspired a lot of stuff. Like, Jess is a writer and all that, and I, I do a little writing. If you didn't see my last video, I announced it that I'm going to Wattpad. Um, yeah, about that, um, that's gonna take a little time, because I was reading over the thing, and these are, like, old, um, drafts. And I'm like, ooh, I need to rewrite that. Need to rewrite that. Which is a danger zone for writers, because <laughs> they basically go back and rewrite the whole book. Oh. Help my soul. But, yeah. So, I'm going to be rewriting that a little bit, so I can get that. And then it's going to be out again. But she inspired me to do books again. Because... My friends, I really don't like this, but my friends bring it up all the time. I, no, no, it was in elementary. What am I thinking? High school and elementary are so different things. Ha! In high school, I won a little writing contest. It wasn't that big, but it was like for our English class, and I had a couple friends in my English class, which never happens if you guys know. Well, at least it didn't happen for me a lot. It was like one of my last years of high school, but, and I had like a ton of friends in my English class. I'm like, what is happening? But, uh, I'm going off track, but I ran a little writing contest and my teacher embarrassed me by reading it out loud and I was so embarrassed, but my best friend, she's like, man, what are you doing with your life? And I'm like, 
staying to the shadows like I should. Because uh, that's a little joke with me because I'm, um, I'm in theater and I'm a tech. If you know, don't know what a tech is, you go look it up because... Guess what? They're an important part of the show. Their show cannot go on without them. But basically, they're the people that makes the props, the set, the lighting, da 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 da, da all that stuff, the costumes. But yeah, and I'm one of those. And uh, we tend to stick to the dark. We never go to the light because light is bad. We're vampires. <laughs> and um, so yeah. But and uh, she's like Megan. This stuff is good, like, I want to know what happened to these characters, because the, what I want is, like, I told a story about two characters, basically, you know, it was kind of inspired from Hunger Games a little, but also inspired, this is going to sound so weird, um, Pride and Prejudice? I know, that sounds weird, they're totally two different things, and you're like, how do those connect? It's a long story. But, um... Anywho. And my friend was like, I want to know what happened to the big characters. Like, do they survive? Does her family let her go? Do they win? Do they survive? Who dies? Do they, do they get married? And I was like, no, and no, and I don't know, because it was just a fun writing. But then after that, I kind of took it serious, and I was like, okay, let's just write for fun and see what happened. And then I came up with my book, Guardians, which I'm kind of proud of, kind of. Like, it could be better, but, you know, I'm trying. And... I'm going to be coming out with a video soon explaining Guardians. And... Also, um... If anyone do is watching this, um, I at the time I don't really have that many people watching me, and probably... Um... Wonder... Why would she do this? Like, she's not even, like, that, she's not even popular, or she doesn't have that many people or following her or anything. It's because of Jess. Like, honestly, I do this for fun. Like, yes, you're gonna, people are gonna criticize me, but I do that because I enjoy it. So, yeah. So, thank you, Athmel, for inspiring me, all this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.